Good afternoon everyone, how's it going on this snowy cold week? Um, hope everyone is well, nice to see you. Um, it's Friday afternoon, it's the end of the week. For those of you who don't know me, my name is James, I'm the Senior Health and Fitness Supervisor here at Essex Sport. Um, so today guys we're going to be taking you through a HIIT workout. So it's going to be 30 minutes from start to finish. Um, the format of the workout is going to be 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. We're going to do 10 exercises non-stop. We're going to have a two minute rest in the middle and then we're going to repeat that circuit twice through. So quite high intensity, 20 minutes will give you progressions and regressions for each exercise as we go along. A few things before we start guys, if, uh, sorry, you guys should be working out from home. Ideally, please make sure you've got enough space. If there's a couple of you, make sure you've got loads of space. Um, we'll be doing a little bit of side to side movements, a little bit back and forth as well. So uh, we might have some burpees in there as well. So make sure you guys have got enough space for that. Um, if you haven't exercised in a long time, please, please, please make sure you're taking the workout at your own pace. Um, if you have any contraindications to exercise like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, anything that will make you dizzy, faint, sick or anything like that during the workout, please stop, take as much time as you need. If you need to stop completely, that is absolutely fine. Remember guys, it is your leisure time. I'm meant to be enjoying these workouts, um, hopefully. Uh, please give us a like if you're liking the workout, uh, pop a comment below um, during the workout if there's any exercises or anything that you guys wanna see. Um, and you know, we'll try and put those uh, in there for future videos for you. So like I say guys, we're gonna go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, 10 exercises, two minute rest times two, and then we'll have a little bit of a stretch at the end. Our warm up is gonna be inbuilt into the workout. So you don't have to worry about doing a separate warm up. Um, we're gonna do sort of two, three minutes worth of warm up is integrated into the workout. Okay, so make sure you've got enough space guys. Give you a couple of seconds, just grab a little bit of water, and then we're gonna go straight into the workout. So a little bit of water first guys, and then we're gonna hit the workout. So same thing again guys, just make sure you've got enough space. Like I say, the warm up is gonna be integrated into the workout. So it's not separate, don't have to worry about that. That will also get you used to the format and what you're working out with today as well. Okay. So, because the first exercise is part of the warm up guys, we want you to go about 50 to 60%. So, nice and easy, nothing too crazy. So we're gonna go 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I'll talk you through the exercises as we go along. So we're just gonna start with some star jumps first. So three, two, one, and away you go. So we're just looking to be nice and light on our feet, guys. Thinking about that core nice and tight. So hands just coming up just to show the height at the moment. We're gonna change the variation of the star jump after 20 seconds. Good. All right, we're gonna change the start, uh, variation in three, two, one, feet together, down, touch the toes, Nice big jump. Good. Excellent stuff. Well done. So just bringing that intensity up, guys, to about 60% at the moment. Six out of 10. Good. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And relax. 20 second rest. Okay. Give you a 10 second rest. I'll explain what we're going to do next. I do have trousers on today, guys because I've got my shorts, not very bright. Okay, we're gonna go into alternate floor taps next, guys. So we're gonna go single hand down, little jump, up nice and tall, reach up. Okay, 40 seconds, three, two, one, and away you go. So, reaching up nice and tall, really opening that body up. Each hand is gonna come down, touch the floor each time. If you don't wanna do the jump, guys, you can just come down, touch the floor, Hands up, down, touch the floor, hands up, and just keep alternating. So we're looking to do that alteration each time. Like I say, one that head up and back. Little jump at the top, straight back down. If you can, try and touch that floor. Bend those knees slightly, so keeping those soft. Last few seconds, three, two, and one, good stuff guys. Okay, we're gonna increase the intensity of what we're doing a little bit now. So we're gonna go walk out to a press up. So 
Feet nice and wide. Going to hinge from the hip. Walk yourself up nice and straight. And from this position here, you can either go press up or you can go shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Walk yourself back up, stand up nice and tall. So you've got the walk out with a press up or you've got a walk out with two shoulder taps. Okay? All right, here we go, guys. Three, two, one, and away you go. So feet nice and wide, hinging forward, legs nice and straight. From that position there, either one press up or one shoulder tap each. Walk yourself back up, nice and straight. As soon as you've done that, back down. In that bottom position, making sure hips are not too high, hips are not too low. Good. So one press up or a shoulder tap. Bring yourself back up. Good, excellent. Last 15 seconds. Well done, guys. Keep going. Good. Last five, four, three, two, one. And relax there, good stuff guys. We're gonna make it a little bit more challenging now. So we're gonna go burpee to a squat. So, two ways you can do the burpee. You need to go hands down, quick feet, jump at the top. Or, if you want to, hands down, walk your feet back, walk your feet up, stand up nice and tall. So once you've done the burpee guys, we're gonna add in a squat. So feet shoulder width apart, chest up nice and tall. So, squat down, so you go burpee, stand up nice and tall, squat down, and then carry on with the burpee. So, you can either do the dynamic burpee or the walking burpee. All right, so we've got 40 seconds, here we go. Three, two, one, and away you go. So, down with that burpee, nice big jump, set yourself down into that air squat. Good, excellent, well done. So with this guys, just trying to keep going at your own pace. Trying to bring that intensity up a little bit now. So we're working at about a seven or eight out of 10 now. Good, so either the walking burpee or the jumping one, you choose. Last one, five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff guys, well done. Okay, we are now going into traveling mountain climbers. So you're gonna be in a press up position, hands directly underneath the shoulders. So you're in a nice straight position. Core nice and tight, nice straight line. Between the head and the shoulders, you're gonna go 10 mountain climbers. So, bring myself into shot a little bit more. So knees are gonna go up to elbows, so you'll go one, two, all the way to 10, one, two over, and then you'll go to 10. So, 10 mountain climbers, two across, 10 mountain climbers, two across. So here we go guys, 40 seconds. Three, two, one, and away you go. Hands underneath those shoulders, 10 mountain climbers. So 10 each side, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, good. And then you go one across, two across, and then back to 10 again, good. So just picking a pace that you find comfortable, hands underneath those shoulders. Good, core nice and tight. Well done guys. So two across, my feet are slipping absolutely everywhere on this. Good, last five seconds, four, three, two, and one, good stuff. Okay, get used to that exercise as we go along, guys. Right, next we're gonna do four quarter squats. Sorry, four quarter lunges, one big lunge. So how this is gonna work, guys, is you're gonna go four quarters. So lunge position, legs nice and soft. One, two, three, four. So just an eighth of a lunge. Once we're done four, we're gonna then drop down to a big lunge. And then four again and then swap sides with a big lunge. All right, guys? So, we're thinking about chest up nice and tall, front foot nice and flat. All right, here we go. 40 seconds. Three, two, one. So, nice and light on your feet. When you come down into that lunge, front foot nice and flat. 
Chest up nice and tall. We're using our arms to drive that quarter squat and then we're using our arms for balance in the remainder squat. If you don't want to do this guys, the alternative, backwards lunge, back into the top position. Backwards lunge. Front foot stays nice and flat. Chest up nice and tall. Good. Last 10 seconds guys, keep going. Four, down into that lunge. Good, last few reps. Good, three, two, one, and relax there. Excellent. All right, we are moving into core exercise. So we're gonna go 20 seconds each side. We're going side plank, guys. So arms gonna be underneath the shoulder, feet in a nice straight position, like that. So we're gonna go 20 seconds each side in five seconds. Here we go, three, two, and one. So you can either pop your arm on the other arm for support, down by the side. You can either have your arm out, that'll make it a bit more challenging, or you can put your foot up as well. That'll make it even more challenging. Good, we're gonna do 20 seconds each side. Make sure that hip stays up, shoulders and elbow in a nice straight line. And relax there. Gonna give you five seconds to change over. So, five, four, three, two, and one. So back up into that plank position. Like I say, nice straight arms, or nice straight line between the hands and the shoulders. You can hold the arm, arm out, arm up, make it a bit more challenging, make it even more challenging. Push that leg up as well. Oh, that's really tough. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff, those are the side planks done, guys. Okay, we are moving into high knees with a lateral shift. So, 10 high knees on the spot. So you're gonna go two, four, six, eight, 10. Once you've done that, two side shuffles. And then you're gonna go 10 high knees, two side shuffles. If you don't wanna do the high knees, guys, I just want you to do marching on the spot for 10. Then you're gonna go across two steps, marching on the spot for 10. All right, so we've got 40 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, and away you go. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. As soon as you're done, two side shuffles, straight into it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two side shuffles, good. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Nice and light on your feet. Make sure that core's nice and tight. Knees up, use those arms to drive. Two across, good. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Remember, you can sidestep and do the marching on the spot. Still nice and quick. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And relax, good stuff, guys. Oh, this is the worst exercise, in my opinion. Squat jacks. Oh, squat jacks are horrible. So, you start off in a squat position, guys. So, feet underneath the hips. You're gonna come down, hands up into that squat, explode up, down into that squat, core nice and tight. If you don't wanna do that, guys, slightly easier alternative, you're gonna come down into a squat, reach up, clap, down into a squat, reach up and clap. So, gonna be a little bit of a burner on the legs, this one, guys. Going in five seconds. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and away you go. So down to that squat, jump up, feet together. So when we're at the bottom of the squat, guys, feet nice and flat, chest up, really powering up. Reaching up to the top, good. Just trying to pick a pace where you can keep going. So we don't want you to stop, good. 25 seconds in. If you don't want to do the jumping one, remember, squat down, reach up and clap. Squat down, reach up and clap. Good, almost there. Last five, four, three, two, one. And relax there, oh, good stuff. Last one is a core exercise, guys. So, we're going alternating crunch. So what this is gonna look like, everything's gonna be nice and flat. You're gonna come up, opposite hand, it's going to touch the opposite shin, all the way back down, touch the floor with your hands, back up, 
opposites the whole time, guys. All right, so really, really important with this, we want our head and our shoulders nice and flat for as long as possible on the way back down. When you come up, obviously your head's gonna come up a little bit, but try and just touch that opposite, opposite leg. Last exercise of the circuit, guys. 40 seconds worth of work, then you get a break. All right, guys, here we go. Three, two, one, and away you go. So everything nice and flat. Come up, opposite hand touches the opposite shin. Good. Remember, head and shoulders nice and flat. When you come back down, good, nice job. Well done, guys, good stuff. Okay, that is 20 seconds in, 20 seconds to go. Keep going, guys. Well done. That's 30 seconds. Last 10. Keep pushing. You're almost there. All the way back down. All the way back up. Three, two, one. And relax there, guys. Good job. Okay, guys. We're going to have slightly less than two minutes break. So we're going to have a one minute 20 break. Get an opportunity to grab a little bit of water on now. Should be nice and warm, nice and sort of um, familiar with the exercises now. We're gonna do that circuit one more time, guys. So still 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So grab yourself a little bit of water, guys. Try not to take on too much. Good stuff. All right, guys, what we're gonna do for this second round is we're gonna try and increase that intensity just for you guys, just a little bit. So been working a seven or eight out of 10 for the first circuit. We're gonna try and work an eight or nine out of 10 for the second circuit. So we're really gonna push yourself. You guys are used to the exercises now. You know what variation of that exercise you're gonna do. So, last circuit, really time to push yourself. Okay, you got 30 seconds, then we're going again. So just to remind you guys, got two variations for the first exercise. Either normal start jump or down touch the toes. Nice big jump. All right guys, we're going in 10 seconds for that second circuit. Well done. Okay guys, so time to really push yourself on this second circuit guys. Eight or nine out of 10. Increase that intensity a little bit. All right, here we go, five. Four, three, two, one, and we're off. So I'm gonna do 20 seconds of each exercise. You just go with the one that you wanna do. So start dumps, nice and light on your feet. 20% tension on the core. So just bring that in a little bit. Arms out, stay nice and light on your feet. Good, well done. Okay, I'm swapping to the second variation. So feet together, up, touch those toes at the bottom, Nice big star jump. Good. Well done. Last 10 seconds. See how many reps you can get. Well done, guys. Good stuff. Almost there. Three, two, one. And relax there. Okay. Nice deep breath in, guys. Hopefully, you should increase that intensity a little bit. Nice couple of deep breaths. 10 seconds. We're moving on. Alternating floor taps. So, down, touch the floor, nice big jump. Or, touch the floor, arms up, no jump. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and away you go. So without the jump, guys, down, touch the floor. Opposites, or with the jump, little jump. Arms up, swapping sides each time. When you're reaching up, making sure you bring that head back a little bit. Shoulder blades together, core nice and tight. Remember, we're upping the intensity of this second circuit. So we're looking to work an eight or nine out of 10. Really try and push yourself if you can. Good. Last 10 seconds to go. See how many reps you can get, guys. Come on. Good. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax there, good stuff, guys. Okay, next exercise. Couple of deep breaths in. We're going. Walk out. So. Nice wide start, coming down, walking yourself nice straight legs. Either press up or shoulder tap, and then straight legs on the way back. Okay guys, we're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, 
and away you go. So hinge from the hip, try and keep those legs nice and straight. Walk your hands out, breathe go in. Full press up at the bottom, or one shoulder tap each. Legs nice and straight, walk yourself back. Stand up nice and tall, legs down. Press up is my variation. Stand yourself up nice and tall, good. Hands underneath the shoulders, core nice and tight. Try and make those hips in line with the shoulders so they're not too low, good. Well done guys, good stuff. Last 10 seconds, keep going. Hands underneath the shoulders, core nice and tight. Elbows back if you're doing those press ups. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Lovely stuff guys. All right, we're doing the traveling mountain climbers next. So, you've got 10 mountain climbers each side. So 20 in total, and then you're walking yourself across two steps. So, hands underneath the shoulders in a nice straight line. Hips are gonna be just slightly above the shoulders with this one, guys. All right? Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and away you go. So hands underneath the shoulders, if you can. Try and bring those legs up nice and high. Good. Okay, once you've done 20, walk yourself along two steps. So I'm coming a bit closer, and then back into those mountain climbers. So we're looking to do 20. Eight, nine, and 20. Gonna move back. One step, two step. Okay, 15 seconds to go. Good. Keep pushing, guys. Almost there. Well done, my feet are slipping everywhere. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good stuff, well done. Okay, guys, should be finding these exercises challenging if you're really pushing yourself. So, next exercise, guys, is the burpee to the squat. So, just to go through this again, dynamic version, down. Jump in the middle, jump at the top, down to a squat, or, Burpee, walk yourself out, walk yourself back up, stand up nice and tall, and down into that squat. So with this exercise, guys, really want you to push and challenge yourself. See how many reps you can get. All right, we're going in three, two, one, and away you go. So that burpee, jump up nice and tall, down into that squat. Jump up nice and tall, down into that squat. Good. Well done. Just trying to work at a pace, guys, where you feel comfortable. Try not to rest. Good, excellent. Remember, you've got the two variations. You've got the jumping one, like I'm doing, or you've got the feet up, feet down, stand up nice and tall, and the squat. Good. The last few seconds to go, guys. Squat to burpee. Last few reps. Jump up. Nice and tall. Last one. Good. Jump. Squat and relax. Good stuff guys, well done. Okay, oh, halfway through this second circuit. Okay, next exercise is core lunges guys. So core lunge, one full lunge. So it's a eighth of a lunge using those arms, three, four, down into a big lunge. And then we change each side. All right, so, Five exercises to go. Doing really well, guys. Okay, here we go with the lunges. In three, two, one, and away you go. So, eighth of a lunge. Using those arms, core nice and tight. When you come down into the deep lunge, front foot stays nice and flat. Good, one, two, three, front foot flat. We want the chest up nice and tall the whole time. If you don't want to do the dynamic version, feet back, feet back. So into that backwards lunge. Front foot stays nice and flat the whole time. Good. All right, 10 seconds to go. So one, two, three, four, down into that big lunge. Oh, our coordination's all over the show. Good. Soft feet, last few seconds, and relax there. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. All over the show. Okay, going into a quarter, uh, side plank, that's what we're doing. All over the show. So, a few teaching points, guys. Hands underneath the shoulders, 
You can use the second arm for support. Legs nice and straight. Try and push those hips up as much as you can. All right, we're gonna go 20 seconds each side. Here we go, and away you go. So hips up tall. Bring that arm up, that'll make it a bit more challenging. If you wanna bring the leg up, that'll make it super challenging. Really difficult. Good, make sure you got that nice straight line, guys. Keep that hip actively pushing towards the ceiling. Five seconds, then we're gonna switch. Three, two, and one. Good stuff, gonna stop the timer. Give you a few seconds to change over. So same thing, we want that arm underneath the shoulder so it's in a nice safe position. We don't want that arm out in that position there. Good, all right, we're going in three, two, one, and away you go. Both feet stacked on top of each other, actively pushing that hip into the ceiling. Use the arm for support if you need to. Hands up, foot up. That'll make it even more challenging, guys. Good, well done. 10 seconds to go. Good. Three, two, one. And relax there, good stuff guys, well done. All right, next exercise, we're going back into those high knees lateral shift. So, 10 high knees, two lateral shifts, 10 high knees. If not, you can do the marching, lateral steps across and in the marching. All right guys, we've got three exercises to go. Doing really well. We're gonna go in three, two, one, and away you go. So, nice and light on those feet. Good, one, two across. As soon as you've done that two across, straight into the 10. Use those arms to drive those high knees. Keep that core nice and tight. Good, one, two, two, four, six, eight, 10. Come across, if not guys, 10 marching. Four, six, eight, 10. Step across, step across, good. 15 seconds to go. Whichever variation you want to do is fine. Make sure you keep working. Shouldn't have to stop on this one, guys. Last five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. Lovely stuff, well done. Last two exercises. Last one is a squat jack. Oh, I hate this exercise. It's my worst. So, squat jack. Squat position, down, explode up, hands together. Explode up, hands together. If not, squat down, reach up, clap in the middle, guys. All right, we're going in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and away you go. So dropping down, hands together. So want those feet nice and flat, chest up nice and tall. When you get down to the bottom, use those legs, really drive up push up as quick as you can good well done if you don't want to do that variation guys we've got the air squat feet on the ground nice big clap sit those hips back chest up nice and tall good 15 seconds to go well done guys almost there really hard exercise this 10 seconds or oh, those quads should be burning good well done last five together one two Three, four, and five. Good stuff, guys, well done. Last exercise, then we are done. We've got the alternating crunch. So we're going feet and arms nice and straight, all the way down to the bottom, up, touch that opposite shin, all the way down, up, touch the opposite shin. So, last exercise, guys, if you can, Really, really try and push yourself. We're going in three, two, one, and away you go. So up, touch that shin, head and shoulders, arms touch the ground, nice and flat. When you come back, try and make that crunch as big as you can. Really try and reach across to the other side. Good, well done guys. Keep going, I'm gonna have my head up a little bit just so I can keep talking to you guys. We're over halfway, last 15 seconds. If you can, try and pick up the pace. Good, last 10 seconds, keep going. All the way down, all the way up. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax there guys, well done. Give yourself guys a little round of applause for the workout. 
So that was 10 exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, a minute and 20 seconds rest in the middle, and then the second exercise over again. So 10 exercises like that, uh, quite high intensity for 40 seconds with a 20 seconds rest, quite a hard workout guys. You should be really hot, really sweaty, really out of breath, like me, although I am in an absolutely freezing cold studio. Um, it's a little bit like being outside right now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Okay guys, give yourself a couple of deep breaths, stand up nice and tall, we're just going to finish off with some stretches. So, first stretch guys, just going to be for the triceps, shoulders and rear delts as well. So what you're going to do, feet underneath the hips, this arm is just going to grab just below the elbow, bring that up to shoulder height, pull it across, this is the active arm, the other arm stays nice and loose. Just pulling that across guys. So you should be able to feel it, backs of the arms, shoulders, and the back of the shoulder as well. So traditionally guys, hold a stretch for about 20 seconds to 30 seconds. <clears throat> Good, well done, shake that off. Then all we can do, just do the opposite side guys. So it's gonna go just below the elbow, up to shoulder height, pull it across. So it's the bottom arm that does all the work, the top arm stays nice and relaxed. So looking to feel that in our triceps backs of the shoulders and the fronts of the shoulders as well. So like I say, 20, 30 seconds per stretch, per side. We're looking to do this guys two or three times. We're gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys once, just cause it's pretty boring watching me stretch, but what I would like you guys to do um, twice is adequate, three times is ideal guys. Okay, give that a shake off guys. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna come down to kneeling, stretch out the hip flexors. So, front foot, it's got to be at 90 degrees, like so. Back leg is also going to be at 90 degrees. What you're going to do, guys, is you're going to squeeze your glutes, so, or your bum. That's going to push your hips forward, turn this hip muscle group on here, so you should be able to feel it here, which is your hip flexor. Once you've done that, what I want you to do, arm straight up over the head, and then you're just going to lean over the front leg. So I want you to keep squeezing your glutes, guys, the whole time. That should open up a couple more muscle groups. So, TFL, a little bit of QL as well, so just some muscles in around your hips and your lower back. Keep squeezing that glute the whole time, guys, so about 60 or 70%. Good. All right, give it a shake off. I'm gonna switch sides again. So front leg at 90 degrees, back leg at 90 degrees. Squeeze the glute, that will turn on the hip flexor. Once you feel the hip flexor turn on, arm up, over the front leg, guys. So depending on how flexible we are, will depend on how much you can stretch over that position there. Excellent, well done guys. Just keep it there for a few more seconds. Good, two more stretches to go. So next one's just a little bit of mobility for your back guys. A lot of you will be sitting down at the moment for quite long periods of the day. So it's really, really important just to make sure you're keeping that flexibility and mobility in your spine. So just gonna go, hands underneath the shoulders knees underneath the hips. What I want you to think about guys, is you want to bring your elbows in slightly for the first part, and then you're going to try and bring your shoulder blades down and back, and then you're going to try and create that arch in your lower back as well. So, just bringing my spine into extension, and then from that position, what we're going to reverse, we're going to come back to neutral, then you're going to really push that lower back and your shoulder blades towards the ceiling. So actively pushing through your hands just a little bit, creating that sort of angry cat position. Good. Relax there, come back to neutral, reset. Internally rotate those elbows, shoulder blades down and back. Good. So from the side guys, that looks like this. Good, back up to neutral, and then we're actively pushing that lower back and shoulder blades back again. So just bringing that spine into some flexion. Good. And down into neutral. And shake that off. Okay, last stretch guys. Running a little bit over today. So what you're gonna do, front leg is gonna go across the body. You're gonna slide the back leg back. The start position will be hands nice and straight. Depending on how flexible you are, you can walk your hands forward and ideally chest and upper torso is going to get to the ground as much as possible. I'll just be up in this position guys so I can talk to you. 
So this is your start position guys, ideally gonna move that forward. Gonna feel that, open up the hip joint a little bit. Should be able to feel that in your hamstring, specifically your high hamstring, and also in your glutes as well. Good. Okay, switch there, one last time. So front leg goes across the body, gonna slide the back leg out. Straight arms at the starting position guys, same thing again. Walk your hands out to where you feel comfortable. Ideally, we're looking to get our chest and our torso as low to the ground as possible. Ideally guys, like I say, two or three rounds. We're just doing one today, so this is the last stretch we're finishing off with. Um, hope you enjoyed the workout guys. Hope you have a lovely weekend. Um, if there are any exercises, any workouts you wanna see, please drop us a message um, on the Essex Sport Facebook page. Um, please make sure you drop in a comment below. Hope you enjoyed the workout guys. Have a lovely weekend, making snowmen or snowwomen. Um, and we'll see you on Monday guys, take care.